Hello there, my name is Ismas, and welcome to another exciting Blender tutorial. And uh, today we're going to be looking at uh, how to make lightning in Blender 2.8. Uh, so I set up this quick scene just to show you how the lightning uh, looks in, uh, in a real scene. And uh, this is uh, the results I got. Uh, so if you want to see how I set up this, uh, the forest and uh, the lighting of uh, the entire forest, uh, the background, uh, the moon in the background, and uh, also you can, if you look closely, you'll see that uh, I have some birds flying through uh, the scene. I can, if you want to watch how I did that from start to finish, including the lightning, I can just go to my second channel, Blender Money, and watch uh, the time lapse uh, there. Uh, but uh, for this story, we're just going to focus mainly on the, the lightning. Yeah, so you can also see how the forest looks. Yeah. Anyway, let's get into uh, the project. So open up a new scene, delete the default cube. And uh, find yourself a lightning image uh, to use as a reference and that uh, we're also going to use this uh, to trace uh, the lightning just yeah, so we get a shape that looks kind of real so to do this we're going to also to trace this using the glaze pencil you can use uh, a mesh to trace this uh, but uh, it's a bit slow so if you added a mesh and deleted all the vertices but one uh, so you just about this and uh, you can bring that vertex in and start extruding that like that until you trace the entire uh, thing but uh, that's a lot that is tedious and uh, you don't capture the details very well so what I'm going to be using is a glaze pencil so shift a to add a glaze pencil blank and uh, go to uh, change from object mode to draw mode and uh, start uh, painting also we want to paint uh, close to this uh, to this uh, how it go? to this plane so if you want to draw directly on top of this you just have to go to your uh, glaze pencil settings uh, you, which you can find up here in the tools panel and uh, they, they constantly move these things around so uh, for me it's around I want the surface a uh, stroke placement uh, set to surface so that when I draw is drawn over the surface that is selected so if I select this and again go to draw mode and draw hmm. doesn't seem to be working but uh, anyway uh, let's it's okay let's just draw press this uh, so if you want to change this, the stroke color you can add a new material and uh, change it to the color you want and just get something brighter Okay, so then you can start tracing uh, this here. We want to trace the main stroke. Now you see, when you trace and stop, and then trace again, you're going to be creating different strokes uh, that will need to be joined later. So uh, we'll do that later. But, uh, for now, let's just continue tracing. Uh, you can be as detailed as you want. You can see how easier this is uh, than uh, using the mesh, mesh extrusion the mesh extrusion uh, system so uh, we have traced uh, the main branch you can also go on and trace other branches but i think uh let's first work on the main branch i'll show you uh, the entire concept how to uh, make how to animate the lightning and then we can go and uh, work on the smaller branches so yeah now that we have our glaze pencil we need to convert this into a bezier curve so right click on uh, make sure you, you go out of draw mode and uh, into object mode and then right click and convert this to bezier curve uh, it will create a new object a new bezier curve object and now let's first hide uh, this glaze pencil and yes so at first i think this is a bug so you don't see uh, the curve object right away you need to first go to edit mode uh, to start previewing it Go to edit mode and then out of it to preview uh, for this uh, curve to become visible. So uh, this is what we have drawn, uh, but you can see it is broken up in different. I don't like how these normals are coming in, uh, are getting in the way. So I'll just go under the overlays and turn them off. Uh, so you can see this has uh, because we we drew. Uh, 
uh, when we were drawing, when we were tracing this stroke, we are breaking apart. Uh, we were not drawing one stroke all the way. Uh, that's why you see that uh, this is broken up into uh, different uh, strokes. And uh, if we try to animate this, uh, it would only work up to where this stroke ends and uh, it will not continue. Yes, let me show you how what I mean here. So let's first give this some thickness and uh, to do that, just go under the curve modifier and the uh, geometry increase uh, the depth. Uh, also, you can see that uh, this is a bit slow uh, because uh, the polygon count here is a bit high. So the first thing I want to do is uh, reduce that polygon count so that my scene, uh, so that I free up some RAM. Uh, so if you go to edit mode of the curve, you can right click and uh, you'll find the decimate option, which is the decimate curve option, which is the equivalent of the decimate uh, modifier that you will find for meshes. Uh, the decimate mod modifier uh, for curves, I don't think it works here. Now this doesn't work, but uh, you'd have to go into edit mode, right click and then find the decimate curve uh, option there and uh, reduce the polygons you see there. Uh, sometimes you will get an error uh, asking uh, asking you to first convert this into a Bezier curve. So if you get that error, uh, make sure you are in edit mode, right click and then uh, set spline type uh, to Bezier curve and then use uh, the dismate option. Uh, just maybe to I don't want to have a lot of polygons, but I also want to retain uh, that detail, some of the details we have there. So I think that's good enough. It's not a lot of polygons here. And uh, I also don't want this carving uh, that you see here. So I'm just going to right click, handle type, set to vector, and that's better. So if again we go to the curve modifier, so to the curve data, and uh, increase the thickness you can see now it's a bit faster so i think i want a thickness of that size right click to shade smooth i think around there and uh, we're going to use uh, the bevel start and end option to animate this so if i play back with i play with this you can see what we are getting uh, because these are broken up a broken up these curves are broken up uh, each one has a different start and end position. So uh, what I'm going to do, I want these to be joined together. So I'll select this and this hit F and that now that has been joined. So it's being treated as one curve instead of two. So I also want to do the same for this here. Hit F, okay, I think it's this, neglect this, connect this to that. Yes. And uh, I think we have this here should connect to, to that. I see. You can also hit Control L just to make sure that uh, you have that connected. So just this, this here, and select these vertex should be connected to this. Playback, you can see uh, this is it's treated as one curve. I will just need to fix uh, this part here as well. You can select that, delete that, connect this and this, and continue on. I think there are too many vertices here, so I will select them, delete, have this connected to this, and uh, we have here should be connected to that and then we have this connected to that and remove that then we have this great uh, now that we have the entire uh, curve as one single stroke you can see if we use the start it's still broken up somewhere so I need control L select one vertex then control L hmm. let's see yeah so it's connected as one object 
and uh, we can play with the bevel start and bevel end. But right now the issue is that uh, it's coming from the bottom, uh, going up. So I think we can, instead of playing with the start, uh, we can play with end because it, we want it to ha come from up, down like that. And uh, now all we are left with is to sh set up uh, the material. So just subdivide this. This should, I'll change this to the shader. Uh, select my lightning. Sometimes it's hard to select if you don't have any thickness to it, so you might want to select it from uh, the outliner. Yes. You can also animate uh, this value at uh, the bevel end right now. So I can add a keyframe around there, and about 20 frames, add another keyframe. So if I set up my camera here, go to rendered mode and uh, I'll go to my world setting and change the background color to black uh, so that the lightning is easy to see also just going to push this on the side uh, we we'll remove any lights and uh, select this give it a new material and give it animation value and also gain, increase the value to about two here and see what we are having now you can turn on, go to the render settings and turn on bloom. I give this a brighter color here. Maybe a value of three. Let's try four. Huh. I think something like that. We can see what we are having. You can go back and trace other path, uh, another path like that. Or just use this. You can duplicate this. reset uh, the origin here maybe delete part of it maybe even just play around with it maybe change uh, its thickness uh, its depth the depth make it a bit smaller now you just have to play with the timing, you can see right now it's uh, coming in a bit early. So wait until uh, this main branch is around there and then move this, change the timing a bit. Then you can duplicate another, maybe scale it down. Can mirror this on the x-axis to get to mirror them like that. And see, without even doing a lot of work, we are getting something. Yeah. Let's see. Now you just have to play with the timing. Again, this should start only when uh, this main branch has passed it and uh, this here starts at around should start at around there so I will offset uh, the keyframes like there and uh, this here should start at around there So we need to offset this here to start around there. You can also give it its own smaller branch. That branches off like that. That starts at around there. And we even duplicate this scale it down, create another maybe larger stroke, again offset the timing, 
and you have lightning and uh, you can select all the uh, branches uh, group them if you want to all this lightning and uh, add an empty just add a cube empty cube here and I can make this empty cube uh, the parent of uh, the lightning control P keep transform and uh, now I can move this lightning anywhere I want yeah and uh, there you have lightning forgetting what else I want something else I wanted to show you here yeah so if you can also because you can see this is almost one dimensional or two dimensional you just if you want you can just uh, select a branch uh, like this Again, sometimes they are harder to select if they don't have any level to them so you can select a branch like that and uh, go to a different angle camera angle and rotate the like that to create another branch and uh, since in the 2.8 you can go to edit mode of uh, more than one object just select one of the branches and uh, go to edit mode turn on proportional editing and move the actually that is not looking very it doesn't really look that good uh, but uh, You know what it was okay like this so why bother anyway that's how you make lightning in blender 2.8 and again you can move it in any direction you can move it anywhere uh, if you have it parented to another object uh, but uh, if you want to see how I set up the the lighting of the scene and the forest how I made the wind work and uh, birds uh, again you can just go and uh, watch my time-lapse there and everything will be there thank you for watching